Hello everyone, welcome to eSupport for Research. In this particular video, we'll discuss about Gen. Gen stands for Journal slash Author Name Estimator. And to visit this website, you can type gen.biosemantics.org. I will keep it in the description section, so no need to worry on that. And what is Gen? You know, you have let's say written a paper and you are looking for a platform or a journal to submit your work. So this is where you can come and you can have a search to to find out the potential, you know, uh, journal where they have already, you know, published similar article. So that how you can perform a search will come to that. But you can see there are other dimension that also you can explore with Gen. Not only finding out the journal, you can find out author also. Let's say you are an editor or you are organizing a conference and you need to have potential author list so that you can communicate them for a sort of submission. Or let's say you want uh, to find out certain reviewer for your journal or for your conference. And uh, here also you can have that, uh, you know, uh, sort of information once you perform search with uh, find author. Then you can find article also like you want to cite a relevant article based on uh, let's say certain index journal so here also you can get that detail so we'll, we'll try to explore all these three dimensions one by one but uh, how you can perform the search there are two ways or two three ways basically like with title you can perform the search with abstract you can perform the search or with even keywords also you can perform the search so this is what and moreover what extra option is there they have given you can select you know language that you are looking for that you, you want to publish in the different publication type that uh, you, you being you know you have written about like it is a case report or uh, you know a general article in vitro or letter all that you can uh, explore or you can select then open SS uh, that what you are looking for or not or you can keep uh, no preference so only included in PubMed like uh, PMC or you can keep no preference so for this particular you know um, demonstration I will I will not select I will not you know make it to a narrow search will keep it open so that you will get uh, sort of information for your own search you can keep it narrow for you know targeting um, uh, let's say specific uh, uh, corner or side of uh, your particular you know targeted area so another information they have given is about the um, poetry journal because it is rely on PubMed. So may, there are a possibility that paper, you know, when you are trying to find out the article, it it might give you poetry, you know, um, journals or when you are uh, finding out the journal. So therefore, against the search result, whatever you will be getting. It will give you a sort of, you know, indication that those journal or, you know, article has been, you know, indexed in Medline and being, you know, the journal is being approved by Directory of Open Access Journal. So that is how you can able to track or trackle even though that is uh, included in uh, PMC, PubMed and uh, again, possibility of uh, predatory journal. But to overcome that, uh, if if that being indexed in Medline and uh, directory of openness is enough, then it is kind of uh, a safe way, you know, um, for for researcher to target the journal. Even though you can cross verify with scoopers and web of science that I've already discussed in my earlier videos. So now we'll perform a search. So what I'll do is um, I will go with uh, as uh, as given here, like with the title or the abstract. So I have uh, I have kept. Uh, uh, a published uh, you know article from that I have taken here so for you people when you are writing you you can uh, once you framed your title and the abstract or the keyword then you can do that for abstract be uh, sure that you are keeping all the you know keywords with a uh, double colon so that all will be taken into consideration Th that will come so now what I am doing is I am taking the just the title here simply keeping over here and i am trying to find out the journal so click on the find journal so it will give you all c all the estimate you know estimated journal with the confidence uh, that they might have similar article that published in the journal and as as i mentioned it is an uh, index in uh, directory of openness journal then medline and pmc pubmed 
so this information also will get against each one so you can copy let's say about the journal there is no such hyperlink but you can copy the journal name then you can go back uh, or you can have another tab here in the google platform you can search about the journal and you can cross verify and uh, if you think on the indexing and uh, the you know the things are good enough then you can proceed for submission so this is what uh, it will give you sort of idea like where now uh, with similar you know title or similar keyword the article has been published and uh, you can submit so what you can do we can perform another search or uh, let's say with uh, the abstract let's see so i've selected simply i am not uh, going for extra option i'm keeping it all then find journal then you see these are the journal that it is showing but again the search as you can see the database is limited to pubmed so you can think um, based on your you know research area you can uh, uh, visit this particular you know estimator and you can perform search i will be coming up with a similar search engine uh, general finder basically where you can perform for other you know discipline area like let's say for broad uh, area engineering or basic sciences area that also will come but here as you can see most are from uh, medical or healthcare or biomedical perspective journal that being you know cited over here so you can uh, do the search in this way and uh, let's say we'll go with the keyword so you, have, you can click on that keyword so you, here you can um, type the keyword so i'll select this one which i have kept in the double colon because if we will not keep it in double colon it will take as a single keyword so let's uh, now find journal if you click on that you see all this journal it is being you are getting sort of information so as you can see the journal have article most similar to your input that the keyword that i have given so with that it is coming so now uh, with this same keyword uh, let's say i want to find out uh, even with uh, you can try with the title with the abstract you can perform author search so click on author search now find author you see this many author you know they have uh, they might have published so if if you click on the email list uh, you will you might get yes uh, you can see the email detail is also available so that you can uh, you, if you want to approach professor lee so you can uh, mail um, him about uh, uh you know about your conference or for requesting for to review your paper so this is uh, the way to find out the author email id or they have already published with that keyword um, i suggest you can go with the abstract also with more words so you can now uh, reach to better confidence level and that uh, as you can see over here with better confidence level that means uh, those author or you know the journal they have uh, published uh, you know a similar article you know um, in in that particular journal or or let's say in that particular you know with that particular keyword that you have framed so this is what and even with this keyword i'm not changing i'm not going for the title and the abstract the same keyword let's say i want to find out the article so you see it is giving you the article and you want to export the citation you can select here all whatever you know or this is the citation and you can click on that uh, export citation so it will it will give you medline format citation and uh, bib so you can convert it to bib also bib text also and you can use it so even um, jotero mendeley if you are using you can import that one for your uh, uh, you know referencing so this is what you can get the uh, you know different uh, article detail or even you can click on that and you can uh visit that one whether it is relevant for your particular research area or not so this is how you can you know able to find out three different dimension about the journal about the author about the you know article that uh, you want to cite so i hope uh, this is uh, uh, kind of uh, in in uh, sort of informative uh, for few of the researcher that they have been working in this area and if you have not yet you know uh, explored this site on this three dimension so thank you for watching this particular video and please